Thought I'd come out and make a video about getting the seeds. It's uh, April 9th. There's still a little bit of snow. It hasn't melted. Got some rain a couple days ago, and the creek is starting to come up a little bit. Made it a little muddy to get into the shed. Um, um, let's see, it's about 24,000 pounds, which is, I don't know, 11,000 kilos. And I've got field peas here, small bags of oats that they couldn't fit in the big totes. The big totes are full of oats, and there's some medium red clover mixed in there as well. I only punctured one bag out of all this with the tines on the loader. It's hard to see from the seal of the loader. So there's six of these big totes, uh, soybeans, 75 bags of them, 40 bags of corn, and then more individual bags of seed oats that for some reason they couldn't get. Oh, I added to the order, so originally it wasn't going to be a full pallet. Or actually, that pallet's half full of oats and half full of red clover. That's what that is. And there's still my kernza back there, that tiny little pallet with the uh, screw-in aerator in it. That's the kernza from last summer. So the first thing that's going to get planted, so I, I put these in in order. Reverse order, the first thing last thing to get planted will be the beans and the corn so that's all the way in the back and then uh, the peas will go in first followed by the uh, oats and the clover so basically the loader I drop them right here this pallet uh, 50 bags it's 2,500 pounds so that I uh, get it in here and put the pallet jack on it and sort of horse it around. It's not super easy. The floor is a little slick. There's some diesel that got wet. I do have one wet spot in here um, in the roof. I got one, one hole right up there. So right down here, it gets wet. But um, I run a fan in here almost all the time and fans on the floor just to keep the humidity, try to keep it down. I don't want to contaminate my seed. Yeah, uh, this year I'm cautiously optimistic about uh, some of the new things we're doing. The peas will be interesting. I've done them once before, it didn't really work out too well, but it's only on 14 acres. But uh, that should be a good test with the swather. I'm going to try to swath them. I'm going to swath them this year, get rid of the weeds. And possibly looking at some other venues to sell whatever I grow. Um, if, I, if I want to do more acres in subsequent years. Not a whole lot else to, uh, to talk about. It's finally starting to warm up. Oh, out in this field, there was... Uh, some turnip that barely managed to overwinter. So there's going to be soybeans out in here around the house. And I'm curious to see how well that, that grows. I've probably got six weeks of growth in those red top, purple top turnips before I uh, plant the beans. So hopefully it'll uh, do some good. All right. All for now.